Southern style food is perfect for the hot summer months. And Chef Marcus Samuelson is here with some new twists on old favorites. He's the author of New American Table. And the restaurant he'll open this fall in New York, Red Rooster, will feature some of these dishes. And he's with us this morning. Good morning. How are you? It's good to see you. All right, you. one top ma chef masters here the other day, not so long ago, cooked for the president. The I other mean, day, yes. Dude, dude, no, cooking right? with you this oh, morning. Oh, yeah, right. That that's, tops that's everything. The top yeah, one. All right, what are but we going to do here? Today, today we're going to do a summer dish and also with a little bit of southern inspiration. That's what right. we're going to do. Salted shrimp with some wonderful Ooh, red we got some grits. Grits. Okay? grits. All right. So I got onion, garlic, corn in there all uh -huh. summer. Right. And you add in a little bit of tomatoes. Of That's course. what's going to make this tomato sort of sauce is what's going to make the grits really nice and red. Mm -hmm. As that simmering in a way, right. I'm going to add in my shrimp in here. And yeah. these are beautiful, big shrimp. And, and you know, you the shrimp season just opened in, in, in the Gulf right now. Well, they've opened up some of these fishing areas again, and they say the shrimp down there are just as good as they've ever and been. That's right. Yep. And I think that's important that we actually go back and sort of support uh, the Gulf in terms of what we can do. We can buy seafood from down there. Right. So you put a little salt on it. What else you put A little bit of paprika, a little bit of chili, just a hint of heat. Just, just a hint a nice to have that hint in there, yeah. And I always put the lemon straight in. Straight in. When I marinate oh. it, I put it straight in there. Right in the frying pan. Gives it a little bit of liquid. So we got you that. Don't, you don't, these, these do not stay on there very long, right? No, these are going to be about a minute and a half on each side. Okay. And then when we flip them over, yeah. we're going to add in some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes. I really want to cook from the season right now. You have corn is just coming right now. Yeah, yeah. The tomatoes are great, right? Sure. So. A little more salt. Yes. Little, As I, I got season this. Can you add in a little bit of cheese into the grits? Into the grits? Yes. All right, we can do that. So what kind of cheese is this? I added in, this is a little bit of Parmesan cheese, but it could be any cheese that you like. Because you can't have cheddar. grits. You can't have grits without cheese. You I'm afraid to have, say. You know, you can't have that. That's not going to be a light version. It's going to be a yummy <laughs> version. Look at these shrimp. They're ready. They're they ready are, to go. They are beautiful. I'm going to add in the tomatoes and just uh. let them simmer away like this. Wow. All right. So we have our shrimp already. Yep. I also brought some po' boy sandwiches with me. Now what? Now what, you know what? Let's finish plating this. Now do you want the uh, you want the grits down Start here? Start with the grits. You can take this grits. It's all, all right. ready for you. All right. So we're gonna put some grits down. And they you, smell so good. You just spend good. a lot of time down there, right? We've been down there a lot this summer. So you and ate. the people down there love their groceries. And food, it's New Orleans is one of these places in America where people every day they talk about what they're gonna eat that evening and they really care about their food. In New Orleans, that is the lingua franca, right? I mean, it that is. is what everybody yes. talks about. So look at this. This looks good. That I'm gonna does give look you, good. This is a good breakfast. Woo. I'm going to give you a, you know what, I'm going to give you a spoon and a fork. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work. Spoon and fork. And we're going to eat before Erica gets here because she always <laughs> the one finishing all the dishes. Hear, yeah. So now, we have, let me ask you about these po' boys in a second here. Now, what are your essential ingredients? I think, first of all, fried oysters. I love oyster po' boys. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of iceberg lettuce to take off some of the, give it some crunch. Uh -huh. Add in some bacon mm. and some nice. Uh, toasted uh, white bread. The lady in New Orleans, her name is Leah Chase. She taught me how to do wonderful po' boy sandwiches. So I'm gonna have some. Wait, 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 wait. These nice, grits, right? these grits, with the tomato, adding the tomato and then the cheese in there it's too. Nice. Right? Nice that's and red. Yeah, that's really, but really we good. But uh, we gotta eat fast because once she's coming in. Yeah, I know, she's, uh, she's relentless. Um, she's gonna buzzsaw over here. And I, I've been cooking here when you oh, haven't been here, and there? That, she just takes over. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. That's nice, right? Oh my god. <laughs> the shrimp are so succulent and so rich and so good. Wow. So what do you make for dessert? For dessert, it's summertime, so it's gotta stay with the season. So these are this is a peach pudding with a little bit of red berries, so berries and peach is right in season uh -huh. with some buttermilk ice cream. Wait a minute. All right. Southern, Wait good. A Wait a minute. Buttermilk ice mm -hmm. cream. I'm not sure I've ever had buttermilk ice cream. Did you make this yourself? Mm hmm And with but, key, key being just buttermilk instead of And a little bit cream. of fat. A little bit of, a little bit of fat. You got you to sacrifice some of the uh, yeah, fat. But this is a good ice cream. It's nice. This is really nice. So when you come uptown, when you come to Harlem, to the right. Red Rooster, we're going to do all this meal for you. And you can just judge if it tastes better here or uptown. Uh, stop. This buttermilk ice cream, because it's kind of a sweet and sour yes. at the same time? Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. It's rich, right? <laughs> can you make this at home? You can make this at home. You I got the recipe. Know. You go to yeah. the website, you have the recipe. But you got to try some of the dessert, the All peach, right. the berries. 
Mark, it's Stewart. simple. Killer mm. today. Killer mm. today. We eating no wonder he cooks for the president and wins Top Chef Masters. No, we're we doing three-course meal here in about five minutes. Yeah, we did. It was very impressive. And Red Rooster opens when? September-ish, October. That'll be. Back. I'll be back a couple of times so you, can, you and I can taste all the recipes, all the dishes from the restaurant. It works for me. Chef Marcus Samuelson, thank you very much.